Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over an inventory unit of ours. This is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye. Um, it's a three horse bumper pull that we kind of tweaked a little bit to set up both that showing type family that's going to be showing cattle, pigs, stuff like that, but also it's going to be hauling horses, going to ropings, and maybe some rodeos. Front tack of this trailer, it's a pretty standard Logan front tack setup. You do have your uh, four tier swing out saddle rack that runs off a gas piston. You kind of push it in and it pulls itself. You kind of start pulling and it helps you bring it out. That way if you've got some big heavy saddles on here, that piston helps you pull them. Um, you'll notice there is only two saddle racks for this three horse trailer. It does come with a third, but we had to pull it out of here for a customer the other day that needed it. So that third's on order. Um, we can get you a fourth, or if you want to use that fourth to kind of spread your saddles out, maybe give you guys a little more room, that's something you guys could do. Here on the door of this trailer, we do have a standard, you know, your brush tray, spray tray, stuff like that. You can keep your main and tail in here. You can keep your show sheen, stuff like that. But I like it because a lot of times if you park your trailer over the winter and you forget you have sprays and stuff in here, they can freeze and crack and start leaking all over the place. So what this does is it allows you to pull this mat out, throw it in your washer, maybe wash it, spray this tray out and keep it nice and clean while you're traveling. The floor carpet in this trailer as well as the carpet in this brush tray, it is a marine grade carpet. So the water will sit right on top of there, it'll kind of pool, you can spray it out with the power washer just kind of like you would a boat deck if you own a boat. You do have your swing out blanket bars right there. The cool thing I like about them is you can swing them out just enough to get your blankets off, but then it pivots over here and it kind of latches on that wall, so it holds your blankets nice and tight on that wall so they're not falling off or moving while you're traveling. Up above that blanket rack, we do have your tie or your, your hooks and stuff like that. That way you can hang bridles, you can hang buckets, hoses, anything you may need to be hanging while you're traveling. Um, the reason we carpet behind these hooks is because a lot of times you're hanging bridles, you're hanging buckets and stuff like that. They tend to bang around, slide around and scratch stuff up. So by carpeting it behind there, all the main places that could get scratched up or dinged up by your you know, halters, lead ropes, stuff like that, it is carpeted so it won't ding this trailer up. It'll keep it looking nice for you guys for a long time. Behind this saddle rack, there is a spare tire in that back corner. I want you guys to notice on this spare tire that it is an aluminum wheel. Um, we do that aluminum wheel on that spare tire just so it matches all the tires around this trailer. Um, the reason we do that is so if you're headed to a rodeo, headed to a show, and you blow a tire or get a flat or something like that and you have to throw your spare on, you don't have a steel wheel or a donut looking funky. It will match all the other wheels and tires around this trailer while you're traveling. Coming down your tail side of this trailer, it's a pretty standard uh, three horse setup. You will have your three tie rings right here. Um, but you'll notice above those tie rings, it is a stock side trailer. We do the stock sides, that way you, if you're you know, hauling cattle and stuff like that, it's a little more convenient for your cattle to have all this airflow back here and not to worry about dropping windows. The reason I like it is because it also gives you all these tie out points right here in between your air gaps. Um, so you, you got your three standards, but you also have all these tie points in your air gaps. Cool thing I like about them is they are vortex lined like a lot of things are on this trailer. So that way if you are tying cattle, sheep, llamas and stuff out at shows, horses, when they're pulling back, rearing back and getting in a wreck, they're not tearing up your support beams. That vortex is going to stay good looking for a long time. Up above these air gaps we do have your LED spotlight. Again, that's just to give you enough light out here to see what you're doing. It gives you enough light to make sure your horses aren't getting in trouble and just kind of keep everyone safe around this trailer. Coming around the back side of this trailer, I just want you guys to notice, again, I kind of talked about that vortex lining on support beams. That vortex lining covers all of this trailer. Um, the reason they do that is because the thought behind it is wherever your horse is going to touch, kick, paw, your cattle are going to be bumping up against anything like that. It's going to be bumping up against this hard plastic vortex and not your metal. And that way this vortex gets scraped up, this vortex gets dinged, you can always patch the vortex. And it's a lot easier to patch that vortex or replace this vortex than it would be to replace it, like an aluminum sheet or a steel frame bar or something like that. The floor on this trailer, it is a wood floor. Again, it's pressure treated wood, but it is also vortex lined as well. The reason we vortex line it again is for that same reason. It's just going to add to the longevity of this floor of this trailer. You're not going to have to worry about this floor going bad or replacing this floor for a very long time. Inside this trailer, you'll notice wrapped all the way around again is that Vortex lining. It's a real cool product, so I talk about it a lot, I know, but I'm really happy about the Vortex lining in this trailer. Um, it is a three horse setup, so we took a three horse blueprint uh, stock trailer. The cool thing about it is, is typically if you have a three horse slant, you can probably fit four horses in it without, with all the dividers pulled out. 
Um, so we took a three horse slant, turned it into a stock trailer setup. That way it kind of fits that family. It's going to be going to shows on the weekend, showing cattle, sheep, stuff like that with one kid. Then maybe headed to a barrel race a day after that with another kid. So it's going to fit that family that's got kind of a lot of things going on that needs a smaller package to do it. The cool thing I like about it is by taking that three horse blueprint and turning it into a stock trailer, you can throw a horse up front and if you got the right size horses and the right know-how, you can get probably four horses in this trailer pretty efficiently. Um, I want to point out that the roof of this trailer is bowed, if you'll notice. It's just a slight bow, so it might be kind of hard to see. The reason we bow that trailer's uh, roof just a little bit is to keep that water from pooling up there. A lot of times if you have a flat trailer roof, what will happen is that water will pool up there, it'll snow, and that snow will sit up for a long time, and it'll eat at your seals that seal the uh, roof onto this trailer. What that does, it just creates potential for leaks years down the road and stuff like that. So by putting a bow in it, it keeps all that water running off. If it snows and that snow melts, it's going to run off this trailer as well. That way you're not having to worry about replacing your seals or your seals going bad for quite a while. This main stud divider, like I said, if you want to fit four horses in here, you probably can more than likely. You can pin this stud divider over here. You can jump four horses up in here pretty easily. If you look up top towards the roof of the back of this trailer, it's a pretty standard setup. I mean, you got your license plate right, right here, and then you do have another spot load light. Again, we put them spot load lights on here just so you guys can see what you're doing while you're loading and make sure your horses aren't getting hurt, you're getting hurt, and just kind of keeping everybody safe. On the head side of this trailer, again, it's going to kind of mirror a three-horse bumper pull that we converted to stock side. So you will have your three tie rings, um, your standard tie rings, as well as, again, all these support posts you can tie to right here. So you can effectively, you know, if you got to take six steers to a show one weekend, you can tie three on one side, three on the other, no problem. We do have your spotlight up at the top again. Again, if you're tying on either side, and we need that light on both sides just to keep you safe, keep your animals safe and stuff like that. Down low, these are two 3,500 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. I talked about that spare aluminum tire in the front a little bit, but this is the spare that it will match. So if you pull that spare out, it will match these really slick looking aluminum tires, or wheels, I mean. It really makes this trailer pop, the silver on this trailer. Um, it also makes this truck pop too. If you're fixing to watch after this, Marlon's gonna film this truck. It's a really cool truck, so stay tuned if you wanna watch him. But yeah, if you're interested in this trailer, I mean, it's one of the very few bumper pulls we're gonna have for a while. It's actually the only new bumper pull we have on our lot right now. I'm surprised it hasn't sold yet. But if you're interested in this trailer, maybe some other trailers we have coming in, you can go ahead and reference the stock number. The stock number for this trailer we just filmed is going to be 5N201174. Again, this is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye. It's a three horse bumper pull that we kind of set up to be a stock type trailer. Um, but yeah, nice little trailer. If you're interested, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner, and we're at TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.